Swole Benji here. Today I'm going to tell you all about Arena, what is Arena, how to do Arena, what you need for Arena, and all that kind of fun stuff. So here's how it works. Your gear must be an average of 700 IP. So you can easily achieve this with 4.1 gear and a cape. All right. It is recommended that you have a faction cape on so that you have, uh, you know, the all of your abilities people will complain some people will complain if you don't have food or potions but you know that's a cost and uh, we don't we don't like costs here so to do arena you're going to find this little activities button at the top you're going to click it and you'll see a button called arena now when i was new i thought you had to go to the arena master in town and i would just stand around him and do arenas you don't have to do that. you can queue from anywhere though uh, i think red and black zones kind of limit you so yellow zones are below i'm not entirely sure but we're gonna go we're gonna click the arena button we're gonna click solo queue this is if you have a group of friends so we're gonna click solo queue and there's two choices you have this red sword or yellow sword whatever and this is if you want to be a dps or a fighter and these are your rewards if you win you get some arena sigils which is for cosmetics you can you can sell them though so it's it's basically free money a bag of 10,000 silver and a thousand challenge points you also get some uh tier 5 tomes of insight these are worth 20,000 each this is how newbies can immediately go to tier 5 Reaver. It's really simple and easy. I've already won one today, apparently. I don't remember doing that. But if you want to queue as a healer, you get a bonus 10,000 fame tome. Because healers are in high demand. Now, if I queued as a healer, which I don't know why it's allowing me to click the healer button as death givers. That's weird. Okay. Uh, anyway... Um, if you queue as a healer, your queues are pretty much instant. So you would queue this and then turn that off and you would queue as a healer. Um, I'm going to queue as a damage dealer because I'm using death givers and I have no, I have no heals whatsoever. But if you, if you want, I have plenty of videos on my channel. I even show a build that allows you to 1v5 the arena. The thing with arena is a lot of people don't play it to win. They play it kind of like as a test. They want to see how their build works or maybe they want to use it as a warm up, and that's totally fine. But today I'm going to show you how, how Arena works, all the mechanics behind it, and how you can win Arena, uh, what you can expect to find in Arena, and what are some good builds to use in Arena as well. Now I've been in queue for about, I don't know, like three or four minutes. I kind of lost track. I've been doing other things. But it's, it's a great way to queue up if you're just bored and you just want to mess around. So this little screen will pop up, says that the players are ready. You just click ready, and what that's going to do is channel a cast bar, which turns you translucent other players can still see you even though it says that um it turns you invisible you're not people can still see you they can't hurt you though and you can't move until the queue begins now a fun fact uh if you're doing a, a solo dungeon and you have a buff shrine and you see nine out of ten you can take the buff shrine and then accept the queue and you'll have the buff for like the first like 30 seconds of the arena it's kind of funny so once you're thrown into arena you have four allies one of them is usually a healer you can hold tab and see what everything everyone is using their item their gear now ip anything over 700 is normalized so you can see here my weapon is 804 basically but i'm suffering a 418 zone reduction uh, this is because i have max specs in this max specs in this too you can see negative 437 so realistically oh server's going down 30 minutes realistically my 4.2 gives me 1200 item power but i'm only given 804 here Anyway, so the way it works is every time we kill a player, they lose two points. Every time we capture a point, and there's three points on the map, check it out. I know I'm supposed to be fighting. See, there's a there's two on the top and one in the middle. Every time we capture a point, they lose ten points. So the name of the game is basically King of the Hill. When you stand on a point to capture it, this guy's chasing me. I've got to I've, I've got to take this guy out before I continue talking. So I'm just gonna use me booties on him. Damn it, that would have killed him if I would have hit my D. He he's forced to retreat. I'm 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 not worried about it. I just want the point. I gotta kill this uh bear pulse guy with no cooldowns now. Will I be able to do it? Oh I'm I'm fine. I'm I'm pretty confident in this build. So he hit me with that, and that sucks. Just gonna go invisible here and wait for my cooldowns. Yeah man, cooldown waiting. And there we go, got him. So, now that he is dead, he can't contest the point, and now that I'm on the point, this little cast bar will fill up. Hello? Um, game? I'm on the p What the hell? This happened? Is someone- tr is, is trolling? What the f- 
Man, Death Givers are bugged. Anyway, you can see on the map it's also filling up. You can see on the mini-map it's filling up, so therefore I captured the point. This guy tried to stand on it in time. There is some server lag. This guy, what, this guy, what the hell's going on with this dude? Come on, game, this never happens. And there we go, got him. So I just earned, like, what, 12, 14 points in that uh, exchange. So once all ca all points are captured, you'll see that they're crumbled on the map. Then a 30-second timer begins, which will then allow us to recapture the points. As a solo player, you should really focus on the top points, especially if you have a good 1v1 or a sustain build. So you can see there's a, there's a guy in the top left capping. There's a guy in the top right on the enemy team capping. I need to go back and do something about that. I thought that my team would be up there because what the hell are they doing? Get on the point. What the hell, man? What in the... This guy's going to try to run away now, which... And there we go. He's dead. <laughs> I hate that I didn't have three charges for that. What is this healer doing with the Aegis shield? That's weird. Man, that's a weird build. And anyway, he like he's probably trying out builds. A lot of people that play this mode, they're just trying out builds. They just want to find something fun to play, get some warm-ups before they actually play. And and that's totally fine, you know. And now he's dead. <laughs> this is why I like Death Givers so much. I'm 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 pretty dang good at Death Givers, I think, in my opinion. I don't want to get cursed, so I'm going to go invisible and wait wait this crap out. See if, uh, this is a brimstone, yeah. No, uh, infernal, my bad. So, I just took a lot of damage from that curse, that curse user. He's dead. We got the, oh no! Hide! <laughs> Quick, hide! Boom, hit him. I don't have invis. Oh, I'm, I'm so dead here. I'm just gonna go all in, try to do as much damage as possible before he kills me. Shred his armor. Hopefully our fire guys got, yes, our fire guy did it. So, when you die in arena, you don't lose your gear. You don't lose, I mean, you don't lose the 5% durability, but you do lose some durability, okay? So I started at 100, and I'm at 99 on the gear, and uh, that's just from wear and tear of actually fighting. That's not from being downed. So, oh, can I get this guy? I think I can. And dead. So I'm at 5 kills and 1 death. You can hold tab and look at your stats. This is assists, and this is captures. You want to focus on captures. Ooh, there's a there's two guys. This is a this is a tough one. And they're going for the top point. So if I had a sustain build, I'm gonna go for the cursed guy. Oh no, he interrupted. So they're pushing me off. And he's holding me he see he he held me off the point there. He rooted me so I couldn't stand in that circle. Oh man, I might die here. Why why is he using demon cape? Okay, so when you get back to base, you have a shield where they can't hurt you and you regenerate your health and mana. That's why I ran back to base. Also, if the enemy comes into the base, a laser beam will drain their life. So it's a little safe, little safe spot. Oh, this is the healer. Let's uh, let's nab him. Hello, game. Cast spells, please. What the heck? And oh, that didn't kill him. Hey, well, okay, my auto attack killed him, but generally, like, see how we're the enemies are on the point and we're on the point. We cannot capture. Oh, I'm dying. Shit, run away. <laughs> Come on, Axe. You know you want me. I'm a juicy target. I'm a freaking super juicy target. Oh, too bad. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, what? That's a cursed guy. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. All right. I'm doing pretty good. I got eight kills, and I got a capture, so that's 10. That's 16. That's 26 points down on the enemy team. But they're, they're still doing better. You can see we're the blue team, and they're the red team. You will always be blue team no matter which side you are. Your color will always be blue, and theirs will always be red. So... Uh, we need to focus more on point captures because they're they're beating us there, and uh, yeah, so that's the secret of the game. Don't get caught up in the middle just fighting like a big blob. Uh, you can see that they got some good killers. They're, they're, uh, they're Bear Pulse guys killing, they're Blood Letters killing. So what builds are good for Arena? I have plenty of videos on my channel on what builds you can use that are optimal for Arena. Now, I'll tell you right now, bows, Blood Letters, those are really good. A, a bow user is going to just do consistent DPS, and they are a pain to deal with. All right. Uh, Bloodletter is great for executing people under 40%, and it looks like they capped middle, and they're capping top left. So we're, I don't think we're going to win this one. Now, I could engage here. It's 2v1. I could kill one of them. I know that for sure. And he's going to engage me. Uh, I might have to fight this. So I'm chunking him down. This guy's running. What, what's he doing? What the? This dude is lagging so hard. I want that. I want that freaking. <laughs> I want the the 
the axe dude. So I want to try to contest top left, but there's we got a guy up there. I'm going to contest middle because there's no one here. See if I can kind of ninja cap it. And it looks like Face Palm Bro is coming. You can see his nameplate. It's getting... Nope, he ain't going to make it. I got this. I just ninja middle. That never happens. That's cool, man. Oh, but they're coming to kill me. That's fine. Uh, you know, 10 points for 2 points. That's a good trade. I went invisible. I canceled the invis. Uh, juked him out. That's fine. I'm going to go back to heal now. Uh, so if they kill us six more times or capture one point and kill one of us, we lose. If we capture, like, I don't, we ain't winning this. I'm sorry. I wish I could show you guys a, a game where we actually win it. But that's basically Arena. Uh, you can, you can tell some people trying out builds like this Glaive guy. Ooh, that's a juicy kill. That's a juicy, oh, it was a juicy kill. Dang it. I did so much damage. Come on, take him out. Come on, Spear Bro, get him. Yeah, he threw a potion. You can use potions in this. Oh, let's let's take top. Oh, middle's about to be taken. We lose. We have 10 points, and as soon as middle is capped, it's game over. And there it is. So this is the instance. I got 8 kills, uh, died twice, 3 captures. Uh, you, you can just, like, like the Infernal Staff guy, that's a pretty dead useless build in the arena. It doesn't do much. He got 2 kills. He died 5 times. You, you get the point, right? Now, your IP doesn't really matter. So if you see someone in full 8.3... Like this guy, uh, he was in an 8-3 Scholar Robe, the Chill Howl guy. He got zero kills in reality, in the real game. An 8.3 person with a 7.3 Chill Howl is going to murder someone in a freaking flat 5 Camland Mace and a 4.2 uh, armor. I mean, seriously, that's, that is, that's how that works, okay? So, Arena scales your IP, alright? Because we didn't win, I don't get any rewards, but you can do, you can do these... You can get three rewards a day. Apparently, I got one earlier. I guess I don't remember. So I, I still have two out of three rewards for the day. It resets in eight hours. I guess I uh, did it 16 hours ago. Anyway, um, and I would get some sigils, which you can sell. They're worth 6,000 each. You get three of them. That's 18,000. And then an, and then a 10,000 silver bag. So that's 28,000 times three. That's like a little under 90,000, basically. And you get, you know, like 60,000 fame, fame tomes, which you can apply to anything. And, yeah, that, that's basically Arena. You can queue from anywhere I queued from my island. You don't have to go to town. And, uh, see, I've got, like, eight of these tomes right now uh, just from doing Arena when I'm bored. I've got 20 of these from also doing Arena when I'm bored with a healer. Uh, I highly recommend learning a healer if you want to mid-max your rewards. And the queues are instant. Like, if I click this and I click Arena and I click Healer and then I click Sign Up, it should be dang near instant, though the servers are about to go down. I don't know why people are adding me to the friends list. Uh, unless you join the Discord, I'm not adding you, bro. And um, sell some more items. That's see, look at that. Cues are nearly instantaneous. No wait. Of course, I'm not a healer, so I'm gonna hit cancel because <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to have people bitching. And a team without a healer is really bad. Uh, though a great nature staff healer is the best for capping points. Like you never get, have to run away once you learn how to do it. I have videos on all that stuff. Anyway, I'm Soul Vigi. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. And I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you return those shopping carts.